In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Hello, dear viewers of Marjayat TV. You're with us with our episode of program Marjayat Horizon. Stay tuned, watching news, reports, and meetings, all regarding Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussaini Shiraz. According to a yearly custom, the central office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi hosted the big number of lovers of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon him, and the mourners of Imam Hussein on the 11th night of Muharram. In this big gathering, the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi delivered a lecture and highlighted the role of religious leadership in contemporary history of Shia Muslims, making use of new frameworks for introducing the genuine Islam and upholding the rituals of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عظم الله أجورنا وأجوركم بالإسلام إمام صادق mentioned two calamities two difficult calamities of Ashura إمام حسين suffered many calamities but I'm trying to mention two of them you all have definitely heard of them. These two calamities, these two disasters are so difficult to bear and no innocent imam has experienced them. And this issue has been stated and narrated and quoted from many infallibles. Imam Hussein in his last moments of his life, begged you, Muslims, Shias, well, you scholars, Islamic figures, students, those who are listening to me, I would like you to go and look up the word astaghase and its different possible concepts. And the word astansar, as it is truly well-known terminology, you might have heard of it in plenty of tradition books and hadith. Imam Hussein, in his last moment of his life, shouted so that everyone, every one of his enemies, would hear him out. He shouted, Halman Nasarin Yansurana. Is there anyone who can help me? When did Imam Hussein state such a thing? Imam Hussein was wholeheartedly counting on Allah Almighty. No one would doubt about his faith. But the word is the Ghassan Istansar. When did Imam Hussein use the word is the Ghassan Istansar? When he was truly helpless, alone, when everyone left him alone. And Imam Hussein personally knew that he was going to be martyred. Imam Hussein knew all about this before he was born. But as we all know, Imam Hussein was a human being. He had emotions. He had affectionate heart, a heart full of passion. But he was infallible. He was pure, innocent. And these features were predominating. The calamities he went through are the one which we are not able to tolerate, feel, or get through him. He had a heart full of emotions, full of affection, and he was witnessing many of his dears being murdered, being cruelly tortured, massacred. Wasn't he able to? Use miracle? Of course he was. Imagine someone having a daughter and facing all these disastrous events happening to his family. It's definitely a heart-rending. Imagine a father looking at his daughter shivering, shaking. How would you th think the father feels? Presence Zainab was a holy lady. Rogaya was not 
spiritually strong as Zainab. Imam Hussein was witnessing them all shivering due to fear, hunger, and thirst. It is truly heart-rending and painful story. That's when he, wore, he used the word istaghasa. That's when he begged us, all Muslims, let us be honest when we are talking to be Imam Hussein. I wish I could sacrifice my life for you on your path, for the sake of your path. Oh dear Imam Hussein, you beg, but neither the Prophet nor any infallible Imams use the staghasa. No one among infallibles begged, even when they were thoroughly tortured, imprisoned, and bothered. Well, I personally do not remember Imam Mahdi using this word. I wish I could sacrifice my body for the sake of your path. I wish I could. How can we set Imam Hussein as a true example and model for the whole world? It's everyone's duty and everyone is capable of doing so. One of the significant way is the issue of rituals and features of Imam Hussein. We must let the whole world know that why Imam Hussein was martyred and why did, did, didn't he surrender? Why his dears were all terribly martyred in front of him? We have to let the whole world know about this issue. And we have to let them know truly properly so that everyone would believe who Imam Hussein was and we all Shias are responsible for this women men young old no difference though youth are more energized they're more determined they have strong faith so they are more capable of doing so Youth, of course, must use the experience of elders so that they inform the whole world, know about this. Well, there are plenty of satellites, more than 12,000 satellite channels today, and everyone is using their ch the channels for their personal purposes, we Shias are making one-tenth of the whole population of the world. So why don't we use these satellite channels to spread the word of Imam Hussein throughout the world? So why are we sitting still and doing nothing? This is a question asked by Almighty in Quran. Shias must use these channels. See how infidels are propagating the corruption throughout these channels. Why don't we advertise Imam Hussein's statements and his personality so that he would be a true example of righteousness. Simultaneously with the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, and during the month of Muharram, Islamic centers and offices dependent to the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in different parts of the world held ceremonials and commemorated Imam Hussein's martyrdom. These ceremonials hosted scholars, students, as well as public visitors and the lecturers clarified on the different dimensions of Imam Hussein uprising and the participants honored the memory of Imam Hussein with poems and eulogies. <laughs>
said, do not look beyond Zahra. Go back home on the They killed my brother. Zainab said, do not look beyond Zahra. When the night fell on the desert camping, a lonely voice was heard in morning. Then she looked and saw someone approaching, one who would join her in her grieving. She had come to see her progeny and what had become of their destiny But she could not let her to go closer She did not want her to really see I do not want you to go further You will only see pain and horror Body with no head, seventy to death. Zainab said, Do not look at the eyes of Allah. When Fatimah came to Kabbalah, Zainab said, Do not look at the eyes of Allah. Go back, go oh on, they killed. My brother, Zainab said, do not look at Zahra. Before you were born, my loving daughter, I was shown this by your grandfather. He told me what was to be for my son. And how it would be a tragedy My brother told me of this day as well I knew what was to become of me But even then I could not stand witness When I saw Shimir Walking to him My mother you cannot bear to see What they did to his broken body Arrow in his heart never ripped apart Zainab said do not look your eyes Oh mother, when he stood and addressed the people who had now turned on him He cried and shed the bitterest of tears I never saw such a thing from him My brother, you who Define what is brave How can I stand to see you crying? I cry not for what shall happen to us But that the cause Imam Shirazi World Foundation in Washington, D.C. released a message in which it appreciated the efforts by governments, organizations, and religious centers for commemorating the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. ISWF also expressed its hopes for these cultural and religious activities to continue. In addition, Sheikh Mohammad Taghi Zakari, the head of ISWF, held meetings with the political figures and EU parliament members 
and talked about the situations in Islamic countries and Muslims across the world. During the sorrowful month of Muharram and simultaneously with the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, Imam Shuazi World Foundation published a message in which it appreciated all the efforts by government forces, organizations, foundations, and all religious, social, and preaching centers for commemorating Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, on Ashura Day. This foundation also thanked the big works of lovers of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, in the entire world and appreciated their efforts for providing cultural security and other services to Imam Hussein mourners worldwide. In its message, ISWF also said that the human values of Karbala uprising can prepare the grounds for global justice and the unchaining of the oppressed people across the world. Part of the message reads as follows. We hope the name of Imam Hussein peace be upon him and his culture will spread across the world, preparing the grounds for global justice, universal fight against oppression and the elevation of human values. God Almighty has also blessed all who die in this way, with the honor of martyrdom. In addition, during recent days, Sheikh Muhammad Taqi Zakri, the head of Imam Shuazi World Foundation in Washington, D.C., held meetings with political figures in the U.N. and some EU parliament members. In these meetings, latest situations of Islamic countries and their Shia citizens were discussed. Moreover, developments in war-torn countries of Syria and Yemen, critical situations of Bahrain, terrorist movements, the withdrawal of occupant troops from Islamic countries, granting the nations the right to contribute to their faith, as well as topics such as social and religious freedoms of Shia Muslims in some Islamic countries, were discussed. <laughs> Simultaneously with the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, the community of religious students in the holy city of Karbala commemorated this occasion at Imam Hussein Shrine in this city. This big event hosted distinguished characters such as Ayatollah Sayyid Murtaza Shirazi, Ayatollah Sheikh Abdul Karim Hairi, Sayyid Mahdi Shirazi, the director of Ayatollah Shirazi office in the holy city of Karbala, and Mr. Arif Nasrullah, the head of Ayatollah Shirazi Public Relations Office. In addition, the attendees at this event gave ear to a speech by Ayatollah Sheikh Abdul Karim Hairi. <laughs> of Ali, we all remember. On the grievous days of Imam Hussein martyrdom, there was a big ceremonial in the holy city of Karbala, where thousands of heartbroken lovers of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, participated in Ashura tragedy morning procession in Imam Hussein Shwaid. Ayatollah Sayyid Murtada Shubazi, Ayatollah Sheikh Abdul Karim Hairi, Director of Ben Fahad Hilli Seminary in Karbala, Sayyid Mahdi Shubazi, Director of Ayatollah Shubazi Office, and Sayyid Arif Nasrullah, Director of Ayatollah Shubazi Public Relations Office, were among the distinguished figures who had joined this big procession, which was organized by Islamic students' community in Holy Karbala. On
In a message, Shia Rights Watch organization condemned the closure of Imam Hussein Mosque by the Egyptian Ministry of Al-Kaf and called this act as pursuing sectarian motives. In our message, SRW also pointed the suicide attack on a Shia precision in Pakistan and called this terrorist attack as a consequence of sectarian and anti-Shia attitudes. Let's watch a report. The Egyptian Ministry of Al-Kaf violates the constitutional rights of the Shia citizens Shia Rights Watch, a human rights organization dependent to Ayatollah Shirazi, was informed that the Egyptian Ministry of Awqaf has closed Imam Hussein Mosque. On the 9th and 10th day of the month of Muharram, Shia Rights Watch considered this act as a clear violation of the religious and the constitutional rights of the Shia civilians in this country. In its statement, the ministry claimed the reason they closed the mosque was to prevent the Shia deviant beliefs, which have no ground in the religion of Islam. Shia Rice Watch points to the ulterior motives lying beneath this horrible action, one of which is to increase sectarian violence among different segments of the society, especially the Shia Muslims. In the end, the organization demanded the Egyptian authorities and preachers to condemn these violations and to allow the practice of religious and social freedoms. Sectarianism in Islamic countries has remained a crisis, leading to the martyrdom of many Shia Muslims who held mourning processions of their countries and commemorated the Day of Ashura. Suicide bomber kills 16 in Pakistan. A Shia Ashura ritual was attacked in Pakistan, province of Sindh, killing at least 16 and wounded 30 people. A police official told journalists that the procession was targeted by a suicide bomber. Pakistani government claims they secured the area with more than 10,000 extra police officers, yet the suicide bomber could explode the bomb in the middle of the ritual gathering. Ashura marks the anniversary of the death of the Prophet Muhammad's grandson, Hussein, who was murdered along with his family at the Battle of Karbala. Every year, hundreds of Shias are killed at Ashura gatherings in different countries. Shia Rice Watch has sent letters to all embassies before the beginning of the month of Muharram, urging governments to secure Muharram gatherings. Yet Shia Muslims in Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Iraq and Pakistan has already reported killings and bombings during Ashura ritual. Recently, the Turkish capital Istanbul was hosting a big event where thousands of lovers of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon him, commemorated Imam Hussein martyrdom. This event enjoyed the presence of Mr. Tohidi, a member of Rasul Akram Cultural Institute in Istanbul. For more on this big gathering of Shia Muslims, we had a phone call with Mr. Tohidi. Stay tuned. سلام می کنم به بینندگان شبکه جهانی مرجعیت با فرارسیدن ایام I offer my greetings to the viewers of Marjaya TV With the approach of the Muharram month and the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Hussein peace be upon him the Shias in Turkey especially Istanbul were sunk into grief just like the rest of the Shias worldwide Each year the Zainabi area of Istanbul welcomes the big number of Shia Muslims and lovers of Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them who mourn this heartbreaking occasion This year Rasul Akram Institute attended the Zainabi area at the Ashura Square of Istanbul, and this occasion was held gloriously. Also, this year I'm following the orders of the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Salah Hussein Shirazi, who always emphasizes on globalizing the message of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. Rasul Akram Institution held ceremonials in the newly established mosque of Zainabia for 10 nights. Sheikh Mirza Fadi also took part in these ceremonials as a lecturer. Moreover, Rasul Akram Institute welcomed Imam Hussein lovers on Ashura Day. This institute also took part in Sayyid Shuhada Husseinia, which is an Islamic center dependent to the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi. With the efforts of a strategic research and study center of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi and in cooperation with Holy Karbala City Council, a conference was held in this city. This conference, which addressed social Political and security topics was held under the title of Reformations, ISIS and Immigration, Challenges of the Young Iraqis. This conference was hosting political and social activists as well as religious figures. 
هي ليست الأولى من نوعها حيث عقد إمام شيرازي سينر في استراتيجية ستاديز with the help of the Holy City of Karbala Congress branch has held its monthly meeting The topic of this meeting was reformations, ISIS and immigration as the Iraqi youth challenges Many politicians, university teachers and religious scholars have attended this meeting Imam Shirazi Center for Strategic Studies with the help of Congress branch in the Holy City of Karbala has held a meeting concerning the challenges of Iraqi youth. This includes ISIS, reformation, and immigration. As we all know, the challenge of ISIS have caused turmoil in the country. Many Iraqi cities have fallen victim to this terrorist group. ISIS has tried to bring hopelessness to the country, but it has failed in doing so. Many youth have stayed in the country. They refuse to give up on their country and their people. The attendees in this meeting have come from diverse educational backgrounds. Dr. Athir Jasur, a political science professor at Al Mustansariya University, also have attended this meeting. He has tried to present solutions to these mentioned challenges. Academics have discussed the issues that Iraqi youth are dealing with. These issues include unemployment, immigration, and ISS. All academics have agreed that youth are the fundamental segment of the society. In this meeting, the attendees have discussed the possible ways to improve education of the youth and to raise their living standard. Reformations, immigrations, ISIS and unemployment are all issues and concerns of the youth. As we know, the base of a society are the youth, and they are the society's great potential. If we want to build a solid and a firm government, we need to take care of the youth's issues. If a government wants to advance, it should give more role to its youth. Different organizations and centers that are dependent to the grand jury site Allah Sayyid Sadaq Shirazi are continuously working and studying the ways to solve the youth problems. And now we're going to watch the most important news all around the world regarding Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi in the next part of our program, News in Brief. Head of Ahlul Bayt Institute visits religious groups. In their visits to religious groups of Imam Hussein Warners, the director and some members of Ahlul Bayt Institute talked to managers of these groups. In the end, Ahlul Bayt Institute helped these groups with some financial aid. Ahlul Bayt Institute is a center dependent to Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Iraq. Religious activists and Islamic missionaries meet in Holy Karbala. In their trip to the holy city of Karbala, Mr. Ahmed Ufi Asairi, the director of Baghdad Cultural and Islamic Center, along with some religious and social activists, attended at Karbala Cultural and Islamic Center. In this meeting, Sheikh Ali Mujahid, the director of Karbala Cultural and Islamic Center, hosted these religious and social activists. In this session, religious topics about Imam Hussein rituals were discussed by both sides. Ayatollah Shirazi Public Relations Office hosts Islamic students in Holy Kalimiyah. A number of seminary students and teachers from the holy city of Najaf made a trip to the city of Kalamiya and met with directors of Ayatollah Shirazi Public Relations Office in the city. In this meeting, guidelines and discussion of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi about spreading the culture of Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them, defending Imam Hussein rituals, and the important role of Islamic lectures were discussed. Distribution of financial aids among families of martyrs. In cooperation with Rehana Tul Mustafa Foundation, the Shirazi Followers Office in Baghdad held a ceremony where it distributed financial aids among the families of martyrs in the fight against ISIS. In this ceremony, Sayyid Adnan al Musawi expressed condolences to the families of the martyrs and distributed financial aids among them. Shirazi Followers Office is a center dependent to Gwanda Ayatollah Shirazi in Iraq. <laughs> Thank you for watching us. For more information on our daily news about Marjayat, you can visit marjayattv.com and its official webpages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until the next episode, bye for now.